guys, it's Metal, and I'm going to do a quick review of the Razor Blade 14 3060, which I just purchased. Uh, so here it is. Uh, it is a 14-inch gaming laptop that is really thin, um, and relative to most gaming laptops, also extremely light. Uh, you've probably seen it advertised, and it's a pretty good price point. This model with the 3060 came in right around, I think it was $1,700, uh, which... For considering what you're getting, it's basically as powerful as like a you know mid-range desktop, mid-high-range desktop. It has a 3060 mobile in it, Ryzen 5900X uh, processor. Um, it's it's pretty great. Um, but the main reason I'm doing this review is because it has a really big flaw that is really unfortunate, and you should know about it if you plan to buy it. Um, so before we get to that, uh, yeah, keyboard is pretty nice as far as laptop keyboards go. Uh, it's got really good lighting effects. It's Again, it's not going to be as good as like a full mechanical keyboard, but for laptop keyboards, it's good. Uh, the touchpad's really good. You probably won't use that when gaming. You'll probably have a USB dongle for an external mouse when you're gaming, but it is a good touchpad. I really like that. <clears throat> um, the power cable has kind of a weird proprietary USB-C connector, which I'd heard people complain about um, being an issue in terms of being like a little bit large, but if you just plug it in right here, it kind of turns like an L and I didn't have an issue with that. I, I think the power cable is totally fine, super acceptable. Uh, Heat-wise, it gets really hot if you're doing extended gaming sessions in this area here, which is kind of like right where um, some of the, the thermal uh, components are. That's pretty standard and expected for gaming laptops. Um, it doesn't normally get super hot if it's somewhat cool ambiently, um, but if it's like a hot day and your AC is at like, I don't know, I've had it at like 78 or something, it gets pretty hot. Uh, but again, that's that's pretty standard for gaming laptops, nothing crazy. Um, sounds pretty solid, these little speakers on the side here. Mine had an issue out of the box that had some crackling, but I did some driver updates and it went away, so I think that was just like an old driver. Um, it comes with, uh, or at least mine came with out of the box, an older version of Windows, which was a um, little surprising. I had to run more updates, the initial out of the box uh, activation took longer than I would have liked, but, you know, no big deal with that. It's all just one-time stuff. Uh, it's got the cool symbol on the back. I don't think I showed you. You can see all the fingerprints, though. So the, it's got this, like, sort of gunmetal aluminum type thing, um, on the chassis, and it looks really nice, but, man, it doesn't do great with fingerprints. I don't, I don't have especially sweaty hands. Like, my hands are, if anything, very not sweaty and not oily compared to the average person, and it's still gets a lot of fingerprints on it. So, um, you know, again, not the biggest deal. It's it's a solid uh, solid material, but it does not do great. You can see there's some more fingerprints there. It doesn't do great with fingerprints. So what is the issue with this, and why should you not buy this computer? Uh, it has terrible ghosting, and I would really love to, like, pull up a game and demo it, but I just don't think it's going to come through on the video. So I, I will log in. I'll just log into like, wow, here and show you. Um... But it, um, it just ghosts really noticeably. And apparently only the 3060 model does this. Uh, apparently it's just the screen on this model with the 3060. Uh, from what I've seen online, the models that are 3070 or 3080 that have the 1440p screen as opposed to this 1080p screen don't ghost. Um, but I didn't want to get a 1440 because this is only a 14-inch screen. And honestly, like I know everybody talks about like high-resolution stuff and how... Oh, yeah, you got a 1440p gaming, but, like, this is a 14-inch monitor. 1440 is not going to even be noticeable. I mean, it's already so small that even 1080p honestly seems a little bit small. <laughs> um, so I, I, I feel like 1080p, four, uh, 144 hertz, uh, which is what this is, was, like, perfect because I mostly just play World of Warcraft anyway. Um, and, I, and I thought that was awesome. So I was, I, was, I was very happy with that. So I don't know if this will come through on the camera. But you can see it just blurs quite a bit. I mean, it's never a great test to do on camera. But, like, you can see if you move quickly, there's just a lot of ghosting on the screen. And the frame rates are great. Um, it gets, you know, really solid. Um, I think I'm getting... What's my frame rate right now? Well, it's locked at 30 for some reason. I don't really know why that is. I think it's probably a, a setting or something. Or maybe it's overheating. Oh, no, it's because I'm on battery. Excuse me. So it's in, like, battery safe mode. But the frame rates have been good. They've been, like, 90 FPS or higher in WoW. Um, but it just ghosts really bad, even when it's plugged in, and even when it's getting 120 FPS or 90 FPS, it just it just has a bad ghosting response time. Um, and it's just this monitor, and unfortunately, that is apparently an issue. I've done some Googling now after purchasing it, and a lot of people are reporting this. It just wasn't very widely known when I purchased it, and it, it's bad enough that 
I would not have purchased it if I knew it ghosted as bad as it does. It's not bad enough that you can't play or you can't use it, but I have eyes that are just really sensitive to stuff like that. Um, so your mileage may vary, but in my opinion, for something that is marketed as a gaming product, uh, you would expect it to not have ghosting. It ghosts as bad as like a normal laptop screen, I, how I would expect a normal laptop screen to ghost that wasn't gaming-oriented. Like, you would see that and be like, oh, yeah, there is a significant amount of ghosting here, but I'll just play because it's not a gaming laptop, and and I'll deal with it. But I bought a gaming laptop, and it has this, like, 144 hertz, 1080p, supposedly great screen, and it's not. It ghosts. So if you're going to buy this, I think everything else about it is pretty awesome, uh, but make sure you do not buy the 3060 model. Don't buy it. Buy the 3070 or the 3080 even though you're forced to get 144, or excuse me, 1440p um, resolution with those models, and even though that isn't necessary, even if you don't want it, the screen is better and doesn't ghost like this one does. So uh, I'm going to talk to Razer and see if they'll let me return this. I'm technically beyond the two-week return policy. I'm right at week three. Really sucks. Super disappointed. Uh, great product with just a screen that has more ghosting than is acceptable. See ya.